straight from the outside. Oh my god. Can I see the toad? Oh, he's so big. This is cool. Saw some little girl playing here. She must have made a little fire pit for later. Very cute. <laughs> this pack is so heavy. Hello guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be exploring a cave. I was on Google Maps the other day and saw that there was a cave nearby and I've never been to it. So I didn't really know Maryland had caves either. So the plan is to go see where we can find it, if we can find it and hopefully spend the night there. So as you guys may have noticed, Luna's not here with me today. Um, Google Maps didn't really show so many pictures, too many pictures of the cave, so I wasn't sure what it would look like, if it was going to be easily dog accessible. So I left her, she's at home right now and I'll be seeing her later, but she sends her wishes and if it is end up being like a, like a dog accessible cave, I'll totally bring her next time. But I wanted to check it out first and make sure, you know, what it looked like and if it was okay and then I'll bring her next time. So as you guys might know, she's a little bit, camping with a dog can be a little bit difficult sometimes, it can be a little bit technical. Um, so I decided today that it might be best for her to be at the house and for me to go do it on my own. And if it's cool, I'll bring her next time. You can see the main road is right over there. So I'm really not that really close to the main road. But that's what the guy was saying. He was like, yeah, I'll just follow this trail close to the road and the caves will be right there. And I mean, that's a cool thing. Like we're out here in nature and people are just so chill and can be complete strangers, but they want to talk and have a conversation and give you advice. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. Friendly guy, very friendly. I hear a stream. Let's see. I see some cave up here. Maybe that's the one he was talking about. Like I guess I've never been here before, so I don't really know what it looks like and Google Maps didn't really have that many pictures to show. And look, there's another one too. Right there. Look at this one. I'm thinking it was this one. This one looks a little bit bigger. Let's see if we can get down there. You know, earlier I've seen a lot of people like ride their bike and there's a little stream you can kayak and fish in. So that was pretty neat. Fingers crossed we can get away with this sleeping here tonight because it's very close to the main road and to the trail right back there. But let's get a closer look at what it looks like inside. All right, we made it. We made it. <laughs> we have these cool steps right here. So this is what it looks like from the outside. Looks pretty deep, actually. Let's go check it out. I can already 
feel the temperature difference. It's like someone already tried to make a fire here. Very cool. I think out of the three, this one will definitely work out the best. It is more spacious and it's definitely puppy proof. So I think next time I'll definitely bring her here. I think she'll love it. Very cool. You see that? Oh my god. Can I see the toad? Oh, he's so big. I think I'm scaring him. <laughs> he's huge. I almost stepped on him. <laughs> I think I'll call him I'll call him Bob. He's my neighbor for the night. He moved in. Hi Bob. Hi. Woo. Hi. So no bats. Bunch of broken glass everywhere. I'm glad I brought a padded. Some cans up there. I swear people put trash in like the most odd places. Like how do they even get that thing in there? Like I can't even reach that right now. Cool. I can already feel the temperature change. Like it's so much cooler inside the cave. Look at this red. I wonder what this is from. Looks like paint. Is it paint? All right guys, I'm making some Thai tea. I grew up drinking this. It is super delicious. It's kind of like an orangey tea. Um, so you mix condensed milk with this brew tea and it smells so good. It smells kind of sweet. It's got like cardamom, star anise in it and a bunch of other things. So one of my favorite drinks. It does have some caffeine in it. So a little boost me up. I have nothing fancy today for dinner, just a regular couple of Ramadan noodles. You know, I, my dad's from Asia and my mom's from El Salvador, so I grew up eating like a lot. <laughs> like, we're a family of big eaters, and one of my favorite things growing up to eat was soup. You know, like, I would eat soup maybe all day, <laughs> all three meals would be soup. I love noodles and I've always made soup and you know I'm willing to really try anything like as far as food wise um, I've tried some very interesting foods you guys might think is pretty out there um, you know some of them I probably won't shouldn't say on camera but you know like I've tried um, tried mealworms which I really liked um, frog legs which tasted like chicken you know just I'm willing to try everything at least, like food-wise, at least just once and to tell you if I really like it or not. Um, I can tell you that fermented soybeans was definitely a food that was not my favorite. 
I think it tasted like paint thinner, but some people eat it because of health benefits. So, you know, it's up to you. But they were just having some regular Ramadan noodles for dinner and they, nothing special. I fog out my glasses. <laughs> It's really raining. Kind of raining a little bit harder than earlier. So this is pretty awesome. Earlier we heard thunderstorms, so I think it's gonna pick up later. But it actually feels really refreshing. Very cool. Alrighty guys, I'm all settled in. The rain is picking up and I hear some thundering here and there, so I should have checked the weather. Um, or maybe would have brought a rain jacket or something, but the sleeping bag I'm in is pretty insulated and I'm very warm. I also have a machete, a little big knife. <laughs> Just in case, you know, you never know what I'm gonna be crawling in the woods late at night, so it makes me feel a little safe. But I'm pretty comfortable and looking forward to getting a little bit of rest. We'll see how the night goes with the thunders and the rain. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Peaceful. I could definitely see myself waking up like this every morning. Let's see, it is. It is six o'clock. Oh, <laughs> those of you wondering that that video of I gave out my cat, or AKA my mom stole my cat. This is him and his folder. But six o'clock and you know the birds are chirping but it's so pretty take a look at this I definitely wake up to this view every morning Like I have to sneeze. <laughs> uh. So guys, that was definitely an experience. I've never slept in a cave before, so I can definitely, definitely check that one off my bucket list. It was pretty, it was pretty nice actually. Um, the rain stopped maybe around one or so this morning. I, I dozed off for a couple hours here and there, not. Not much sleep, but I think maybe it was just a little bit spooky, you know, <laughs> being in the cave, in the dark by yourself. It's like a little spooky. And Bob, my neighbor, didn't keep me company last night, so 
was a little extra spooky. <laughs> but it was not bad, you know, like, uh, waking up this morning was pretty peaceful. I heard a lot of birds and the stream. I'm actually up pretty early. I don't normally wake up this early. Um, you know, I think being in the house and waking up feels so different, you know, you're, I mean, I get I'm not supposed to be here and stuff and the, the little spookiness keeps me up, but I do, for the couple hours I slept, it did feel like rested. I do feel rested, you know, like just waking up to fresh air and singing birds, like, it's just so peaceful. <laughs> They are, the birds are very talkative this morning. I don't even know if I'm taking the right trail back. Because <laughs> uh, it rained, birds are like, I feel like they talk a lot because of uh, all the worms come out, so it's like feeding time. But it definitely, definitely was an experience. Oh, shit. Oh, can you see that? I do find frogs fascinating, I know. I think I just think like they have so many ways to reproduce. I sound weird, but I mean like basically frogs are so every one of them so unique. Like some of them will have babies like in their belly like out their mouth. Um, some of them have them on their back, like they're the same species but reproduce so differently or give birth so differently so I find frogs very fascinating they're very fascinating so yeah guys last night was my first time ever sleeping in a cave so I can definitely check that one off my bucket list it was a lot of fun if you guys like uh, content like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you have any ideas on where you'd like to see me camp next, comment them down below. You know, I'd love to hear them and I'm always looking for new ideas. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.